This is what we're gonna call the optional next step. So I'm gonna hit new bin and we're gonna call this filtered. And now we are going to enter our new bin and we are going to make a new sequence um, with the same socials aspect, aspect ratio that we are so fond of. Mm, is it 1080, 1920? I believe so. A lot of numbers and remembering shit involved with this. Yeah, there we go, perfect. And we are gonna call this mood for Monday 1227 filtered. Great. And now we are going to file import, which is, I'm skipping the shortcuts right now, just in case you guys don't remember how to actually get what the shortcut's giving you. And so I'm gonna go into my folder titled Done Ones, which is where all my UMD AKIO exports go. And I'm gonna select my video that I just exported and I'm gonna bring it into the timeline here. And it should be, nope, we're gonna keep existing settings and we're just gonna double click this here, double click our video here, and we're going to, hello, hi. And we're gonna just scrub it out a little bit to reach the sides, perfect, okay. So we have our video here. The reason we do this is just because the render time, which is a fancy word for buffering, would be insane if we tried to put a filter over all of those channels that we created. So let's go back to our Mood Board Monday 12.6, which is last week's. And, oh, actually, no, that was two weeks ago. Let's go into our one from last week and let's go into our filtered and let's go into our filtered project here and let's select this adjustment layer and hit command C, go into our filtered project here in our sequence tab over here. Let's unselect V1, V1 because this is where our video is. Let's make V1, V2. We're gonna command V and that adjustment layer is now pasted. Now, what if you don't have an old sequence to go back to in order to import this adjustment layer, which is essentially a filter on your video? What you're gonna do is you're going to go to this little thing here, it's called new item, and you're going to find all of these things here, all of these options here. What we're focusing on today is the adjustment layer. So actually, I don't wanna import it into this new bin here, I wanna put it in to the bin that I'm working out of, which is my filtered for today. So we are going to adjustment layer. Yep, 1080, 1920, that is the aspect ratio we're working with. And we're going to, as if this wasn't there, so let's get rid of that. We're gonna put it over our video here and select it here, this is what it is. Now, you might remember last time from color, when we were making our Spotify wrap template, we went into color and we adjusted just the exposure. Now, with my adjustment layer, which I'm gonna get rid of this blank one and work with the one that I have already, which is this one here. My adjustment layer, I have a lot of things adjusted. And basically all I did was create a filter that I put over the entire video. You can adjust this adjustment layer however you want. You can make everything black and white. Oh, uh, Command Z, we're gonna undo that. You can make everything grainy, make everything have a really high contrast, really low contrast. It is really up to you. Um, this type of filter is not specific to anything. It's just the look that me and Hannah both decided we liked for these videos. You'll also find this exact filter over my Why Alpha Chi Wednesday videos, which are posted every Wednesday. Um, so if you wanna copy verbatim what we've done, um, you can see my settings right here and I will go into each tab and show you what the settings are. Once again, I pulled this up towards orange a little bit, pulled this down towards blue. The curves are not really adjusted at all. If you were a really good color grader, which I'm not awful, not it's not my high, my biggest strong set, um, curves are where you're really gonna get into the nitty gritty of it. For something like this, you don't really need to get into the nitty gritty. Once again, pulled this a little bit towards orange, that is a little down towards blue. This is barely adjusted at all. I believe I might have messed with this a smidge, but nothing crazy. And if you go into the, once again, um, I smidge, 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 put this on here. So that is what our adjustment layer looks like. If you'd like to copy it verbatim, feel free. If you'd like to make your own, once again, up to you. Um, so now um, I have that exact video. I just have a filter on it. So I'm gonna export my media and it has the same title. I'm just gonna click this to just double check that it's going where I want it to. Beautiful. 
and I am exporting that, which is gonna take a little bit longer because that filter just takes a lot of juice to buffer and load, and which is why we would put a, we like to put adjustment layers over a finalized project. You don't like to put adjustment layers over a bunch of different layers in your timeline, over a bunch, if you have a bunch of different channels being used in your timeline, you don't like to put adjustment layers over all of that because not only is your export gonna have to buffer and load through all of those channels, it's also gonna have to buffer and load the adjustment layer on top of all that. So it's better to just have your non-filtered video exported and then throw a filter on top of it. Great, so now let's just go into our, let's go into our folder here and let's take a look at it see that we like it, I think we will, and that'll be it. Great, so that is our mood board Wednesday for this week. Step by step, exactly how I did it. If anybody has any questions, feel free to comment, and you should be able to apply this formula to any other collage-like videos that you'd like to make in the future.